That was my fall. It is a little tight, though. It is a little tight. And I'm not talking about... Yo, what's good, YouTubes? This is your boy in NYC. It's me, Ray, and this is the EDCC. That is the Everyday City Carry. And we have got an unboxing, a special one, a special one. This is from the homie Me With Knives, Mark. And uh, man, this guy has been a crazy, uh, just a really loving supporter of the channel, man. And he said like a little clue to me. And he said, I guess this is Spider-Co week in my unboxing of the three Spider-Co's that Pittsburgh EDC sent me to check out. And um, yeah, I'm actually using one of those knives right now. This is the Mantra 2. Oops, I messed that up. That was my fault. That was my fault. It is a little tight, though. It is a little tight. And I'm not talking about... But um, yeah, it's, it's just a little bit tight, this flipper. You know what? My opinion of it so far is that I love really odd things. And this is definitely one of those things. I showed the Mantra 2 to Kelly last night. She was like, what the fuck? What is that for? And I was like, I don't know. It's cool, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm still at that level of my knife journey Well, where, where having cool things is still... Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. All right. Um, it's still the, uh, the number one focus you know what i'm saying i don't know if that ever changes i hope it doesn't change for me i kind of like things like that where i just like cool shit you know my life is dope and i do dope shit <laughs> let's see where i'm going here trying to unbox this without like cutting myself let's put the mantra 2 away oh shit Let's just make sure everything's all good, huh? Whoa. My uh, face tracking for my camera is a little bit odd now. I don't know why. Wow, there's so many freaking knives in here. What? The oh, shit. He got me makers. He got me makers, man. Dude. Oh, shit. And he, and he gave me a pen and a letter? Oh, shit. Okay. All right. All right, guys. All right, what do we do with this? Mm. Let's check this out right here. Now, Makers is basically my go-to whiskey if I don't want to spend like, you know, 50 bucks or something. And I love drinking whiskey. Uh, I got to tell you, Mark, this really warms my heart, like literally, because it is going to warm my insides when I drink this. I've become sort of a, you know, whiskey drinker, just neat. Uh, I would say latter half of 2020. I drink it pretty much every day, maybe like four shots a day. Um, and uh, yeah, I just sip on it when I watch TV, I watch anime, I watch movies. Um, I do podcasts when I drink whiskey now. I do a little bit of day drinking when I do podcasts with guests. And Mark, dude, from the bottom of my heart, man, really thank you so much, brother. This is amazing. I'm definitely going to drink it. <laughs> Let me put this down here without trying to mess up the camera work. Oh, did it face track me? Did it get messed up? No, I think it's still straight. Uh, let's read the letter. And he gave me a letter, a pen too. Interesting. I wonder why he did that. Maybe he did it by accident. Let's see what it says. Here's a little something for content. How about blades and bourbon? First drink and knife are on me. The bourbon maker's mark. This is a smooth tasting bourbon with hints of caramel. Fun fact, did you know bourbon is the only American liquor? Bourbon can only be called bourbon if it's made in Bourbon County. And even then, there are other requirements such as barrels are only used once and then destroyed. Unlike whiskey made in Tennessee, where they reuse the barrels along with some of the grains, hence the name Sour Mash. The blade, Spiderco Alcyone. This should be in New York legal knife for you to carry. This is an upgraded version of the Persistence. The steel is CTS BD1. It's a nice upgrade over ACR13 MOV. Shout out to ACR13 MOV. He actually typed that. <laughs> I think me and Mark are going to be lifelong friends. That's <laughs> the fact that he wrote that to me. That is a good edge retention. I put a 6K grit finish on it. Good corrosion resistance and easy to sharpen. Then to round out this package, I threw in a decent EDC pen without knowing what your taste is. <laughs> I'm adding a Uniball gel ink pen for you to test drive keep up the great videos and look forward to chatting with you down the line mark e dude and i gotta say mark signature fucking cool look at that see that 
Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is way neater than mine. I have like a fifth grader's signature. And uh, let's open this guy up. I don't know if I will need a knife for this, but you know what? We force it. We force the knife use on uh, in the EDC game, right? <laughs> Let me just uh, get all that. So this is the Alcyon? Is that what he said? I think it's the Alcyon. Okay, okay, I'm excited. <laughs> Ooh, man, it is spider. Ooh, what the fuck, man, dude? <laughs> oh man. What do we do with this? What do we do with that, actually? I dropped it already. So let me just double check the name again. This is the Alcyon. I think that's how you say it. Let's put the EDC pen in my little cup of pens. And uh, Mark, thank you again. This is a beautiful knife. Look at this. Look at these handle scales. What the fuck? Is it because of that's why it's called the Alcyon? Because of the materials? Wow, this is nice, dude. Wow, that's crazy. I've never seen that. They put the lanyard hole with the pocket clip like it's in there. Huh. Interesting, Spyderco. Interesting shape of the scale, too. Let's look at it a little bit. Look at that. So this is in CTS BD1. Wow. Oh, I love this blade shape. Is this kind of like the the UK PK or something I don't know if it is but this is cool oh it's an upgrade of the persistence ah you know what I think I have this maybe the persistence I mean you know I don't want to check for it right now because I'll mess it up not a drop shutter but that's okay let me uh let me do some flicks with this liner lock pretty good action I'm pretty sure I have this knife um in the uh, the persistence model, I think I do. Thank you so much, Mark. This is amazing, man. You know, I was wondering if like I was gonna cry <laughs> this week with everything that people have been sending, man, sending me. You know, I've just been so fortunate that people even you know send loaners in and stuff like that. You know. Uh, daily carry solutions on the uh, Dylan Mallory episode of the podcast mentioned that like it takes a lot for me to buy a knife that is not because I don't want to you know what I mean if I had way more money I'd be buying knives just like everyone else but I'm like you know for New York City living I'm barely meeting the requirements to live like semi comfortably like you know what I'm saying like I can't ever take a vacation I don't have the money to do that I can pay for my apartment I can pay for food and and not feel like I'm gonna die <laughs> so the knife you know collecting has been put on hold but you guys have done so much for me man the last half of this year is just crazy actually just ever just always always posting always commenting sending me knives mark thank you for this knife i love it this is going to be in my collection forever i i think i'm just going to have a hard time selling anything that people give me so wow this knife is fucking awesome i'm carrying this today <laughs> it's so cool i love the scales on this um let me know what these scales are made of uh i don't know if this is g10 or not but I love it, man. You know what? You know what we're going to do right now, though? Because I'm responsible. You know what we're going to do? First, we're going to put this letter to the side there so I don't lose it. And I'm going to reach here and try not to mess up my camera. I got cardboard. Already ready. Look at that. Cut. Cut. Let's cut some more, actually. Yeah, dude. Cut this way against the green like a rebel. Yes. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I can do like these rounded cuts, which are a little bit harder with knives. And that's uh that's the video for you guys. Mark, thank you again, man. So what am I supposed to do with the blades and bourbon? Am I supposed to take a like drink and then talk about it or something? Like I'm trying to figure out how to make uh um, you know, like a content around that, but I do like the idea, you know, like maybe I'll get like super sloppy and trying to like <laughs> tell you guys what I like about the knife. Um, you know, I am uh, feeling really good with the channel right now. Uh, pumped, super pumped. 
and uh, just gonna keep them coming, man. I'm just gonna keep it going. I know that uh, last weekend I didn't post that much because I took some time off just to chill with the Kelly, give her some time. You know, she's a champ dealing with all this social media stuff that I have to do all the time. Uh, if you're not on my Instagram, you should. If you like my stuff, because I'm posting there three times a day. And uh, A-List CBD, I also post on A-List CBD's Instagram three times a day for you guys that need alternative to pain meds and things like that. You could check out A-List CBD, man. But you know what? Let's do a Knives Up. Let's do a Knives Up. Enough community posts. I'm going to save that for a solo pod. Look at this. That is the Spyderco Alcyone. Given by Meva Knives, by the way. This is uh, the Spyderco Mantra 2, loaned by uh, Pittsburgh EDC. The Best Tech Shodan by Todd Knife and Tool, designed by Todd Knife and Tool. And let's do the heavier Ingress today. This is the heavier one. So there, are, let's do both Ingresses. So this one feels a little bit heavier, and I think. <laughs> It is in CPM 20 CV. I don't know why this one feels heavier or not. I'm going to ask the guy today. It is on Kickstarter right now. Please go on Kickstarter if you want to, you know, help out this guy. You don't have to buy the knife. You can just kind of like buy stickers and shit too, which is cool. I do like the pins. I've got one right here. Put the pin in there. <laughs> But yeah, I like what the guy is doing. I like his message. I love his website. So check that out. This is your boy in the NYC. It's me, Ray, and this is the EDCC saying peace. Yo, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so we can squat up in the comments.